understand is this. Why do we have to understand everything in the context where, why does it always have to be logical? Why does it have to be something where we're like, oh, explain it to me logically, or, you know, I'm going to start doubting things. Here you notice the stupidity of this man and his religion. When they want, they have to go by logic. When Islam looks funny and stupid as usual, logic is not needed. Actually, in fact, it's dangerous. So you ask them about the Trinity, they say it's not logical. Few days after, he said this. <laughs> You know, so that's the reason why the Holy Spirit, for example, is the same thing. It is in the creation. Anything that is in the creation cannot be God because they are dependent. Your hadith says Ali, um, Ali, Allah descends to the lowest heaven on the last part of the night. Yes. Can you explain to us what that means? Yes, sure. So. I asked him a question, he replied with another question. No, I'm going to respond. Okay, okay, I'll answer, I'll answer. We believe Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala enters into his creation, you said the, seven, uh, the lowest part of the heaven, the way befits his majesty. How that happens, how, how it happens, I have no, no idea so how it happens. that's the reason why the Holy Spirit, for example, is the same thing. It is in the creation. Anything that is in the creation cannot be God because they are dependent. Your hadith says Ali, um, Ali, Allah descends to the lowest heaven yes. on the last part of the night. Yes. Can you explain to us what that means? Yes, sure. So, I asked him a question. He replied with another question. No, I'm going to respond. Okay, but, okay. I'll yeah. answer. I'll answer. We believe Allah Subhanahu wa Taala enters into his creation. You said the seven, uh, the lowest part of the heaven, the way befits his majesty. How that happens? How, how it happens? I have no idea how it happens. How does that go against his nature? I'll repeat again. I'm asking a question. If the hadith said God on the lowest part of the heaven enters into his creation as a man and answers everybody's prayers, I'll say now we have a problem. Why? Because we believe God Almighty has no beginning, no end. Okay. And other uh, attributes, then we'll have a problem. What we're seeing is how does he enter it? We don't know. Here you see another example of the stupidity of this cult. When they speak about he have no beginning, no end, they think this is a statement about size, because Allah is Akbar, which means bigger. So the stupidity is amazing. They are trying to copy the Bible, but as usual, the thief don't understand what the Bible says. Garbage in, garbage out. What we say is that the way it does it is the way it befits his majesty. But how does that, what you're seeing, goes against his nature, because who he is, not what he does. So notice Ali Dawa admitted, Allah enters into his creation. The way it befits his majesty. We, the way it befits befit his, his majesty. That is even more stupid excuse. What does that mean? Doesn't matter really how it's fit. I mean, he entered his creation. So if Allah enter inside his, his cat, does it matter if he enter from the anus of the cat or from the mouth of the cat? The creation is a creation. So when a Muslim, they reject Jesus because how God can be God and he enter his creation. Oh, okay. So now it's not right. It's not, uh, it's not befitting for Allah. Well, your Allah is an idiot. I mean, he have two hands in the right side of his hand, of his shoulder. He have a birth defect. He did not even know how to create himself correctly. He have five fingers like us, but he do not know how to use them. He have a shin, but he don't know how to play football. He cannot have a son because he doesn't have a girlfriend. And then the Muslims, when they want, they try to speak logic. But as you see, their God, he come down every third part of the night. And that actually alone is a, an enough reason to prove that Islam is a stupid cult. Why? Because the purpose of this coming down, entering his creation, is just to hear us. So Allah is limited in his hearing and seeing. He have to get a closer, get me closer, closer, closer. So Allah keep coming down, coming down until he reached the point where he have a better reception. So what kind of God he need to come down every third part of the night so he can hear us? Why? He cannot hear us from where he is? So when the Muhammadan, they say Allah is all hearing, all knowing, copying the Quran, that debunked by Lili Dawa because he admitted and the Quran admitted and Muhammad admitted and all of them that yes Allah have to come down in order to hear you. My God, he, Jesus said, 
every two of you mention my name I will be between them which means I will be listening I do not need to come down I do not need to go up I am there wherever you mention my name and that is the true Almighty God power but Allah he is very weak he is using maybe uh, uh, AT&T or whatever, whatever reception and his antenna is not even 5G it's not even 2G it is just the G of Android Tets. This is why his reception working only in jail. What a stupid religion. Don't forget to subscribe and join us in our channel. And the best way always to find us, you will see the link there is Patreon. Tell your friends and thank you very much for listening. Question about Allah entering into his creation. You said yes. you would tell me what the Hanbali position so, is. Yeah, so the, the Hanbali position is that it's possible in a way that only God knows how. How is that? Join us in Patreon in order always to get updated and it is for free. This is how you can find my videos and my channel. Invite and tell your friends. Thank you very much.